long road back. Mm. What's 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 what, what has it been like for you the last uh, last year or so? Um, it's been it's been a little difficult. I mean, you know, not playing at all, but. Uh, yeah. I've had a, I have a great support, you know, from my teammates, coaches, and everything, and uh, family. So they they made it a lot easier for me. When when, when you were told you had to have neck surgery, what went through your mind? I mean, was it the, the thought that perhaps your football career was over at that point? Did that, that, that oh, yeah. scare thought go through your mind? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, just not knowing really what what's going to happen afterwards and what how the procedure is going to go. So that was definitely a worry in my mind. But um, you know, the doctor told me that it wasn't anything like a career ending injury. So I shouldn't have really anything to worry about. And when he told me that, you know, that just took a, a big weight off my shoulders and let me know I could be able to come back. So. Scott, at any point in this last year, did you think I'm going to give up my senior, whatever college eligibility I have left, and just start preparing for the draft now? Um, yeah, I mean, I, that's definitely, you know, a thought that, right. that, that crossed yeah. my mind for sure. But, um, you know, like I, like I said, after, you know, the long talks with the, my support system from coaches, family, and all that, you know, um, uh, we all decided, you know, it's the best decision for me to come back and to finish where I started yeah. here and make myself, you know, kind of known again, you know what right. I mean? So, yeah. definitely. When, when do you feel like that final decision was made? Um, I, would, I would say it really went to um, probably around the, like, the Clemson game. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, it was definitely throughout the whole year, definitely going back and forth and thinking about what I wanted to do. But, um, yeah, so it was about, about that time, Clemson game. Are you back in football shape, or you feel like you kind of got your sea legs back under you yet, or is that a longer process? Yeah, I mean, um, first week, you know, it was a, it was a little difficult, you know, just yeah. getting back in there and, and getting in football shape because there's nothing really that can prepare you for mm -hmm. it. But um, you know, uh, now I feel like you know I'm getting back into it. Um, got my legs back right, my wind back up, so I think I'm, I'm adjusting pretty good. What's your weight like compared to when you were the last time you played? Mm, uh, well, yesterday I weighed 223, so I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much about the same, but um, I feel I feel a lot stronger, like my weight room numbers have gone up a lot, yeah, so I definitely feel a lot stronger with, with the weight I have, so. How much of the new system were you able to pick up just in meetings and watching mm -hmm. versus how much you'll still have to do it now that you're on the field? Yeah, um, I picked up a little bit, you know, watching it from last year and uh, and in the meeting rooms and stuff, but definitely getting out there yeah. and running reps is, is definitely a, a better for me to, to learn, and it's a lot easier for me to learn doing that. So right now I'm picking up on the, on the scheme pretty well. Sky, how big of an influence was Coach Muschamp in your decisions to stay here? Mm -hmm. um, it was, it was really more so of a family decision. Um, so, like, it, it was really, like, just uh, between my mom, my grandfather, and stuff like that, you know, those, those type of things. When you, when you heard whole year, um, was, that, was that a surprise? I mean, how difficult was that to digest? Yeah, um, it, was, it was very difficult. I mean, because, you know, you're coming back off your junior season, and you're about to be a senior, you're about to finish. So you, that, all, all that's on your mind is, you know, I'm about to finish this last season and all that stuff, and then you hear that. So it was it was pretty difficult to hear, and um, but like I said, you know, when the doctor told me that wasn't a career ending injury, that that was something that made it a lot easier to take. So you know, I just had to be patient and not rush it. So, do you know how how the injury occurred or when it happened? Um, no, not really. Um, they said that it, it might have been something that I was possibly even like playing with my junior year, and uh, just didn't really even know it. So. That was something that, yeah, I mean, yeah, so. Coach said there was some, it was tough at times having to sit out the whole season. I mean, emotionally, I mean, were, were there times where it was where it was hard for you? Yeah, no, it was, it was real hard. Just not being on the sideline, not playing, and um, just watching everybody run around, make yeah. plays and stuff, and not really being out there with the team, so. But I mean, you know, like like I said, the sports system I had, you know, made it made it a lot easier. So, but it was very difficult. I can't even lie. Had the uh, had the health issue not come up, um, would you have left early? Um, well, actually, the health issue came up after while I was here. Right. So I made the decision to come back while I was healthy. Okay. So um, so the, the the whole injury wasn't really a true factor okay. in, at all. So. That didn't really play a factor in my decision. Sky, what kind of leadership role are you taking on this team? You're a senior, but you're stepping into a new system and mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, what do you see your responsibilities as? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm stepping in, you know, the same way that I was when I was healthy playing, you know, where I left off at. Um, just going out there, you know, trying to 
lead by example, you know, motivate guys and, and just make as many plays as possible. So nothing's really changed from, from that standpoint.